Hey guys, Elpocker77 here and I'm back with another two silver player reviews for you guys. In this video, we'll be looking at another two of the blue player of the season cards. First, these being Molina, the Colombian's attacking midfielder who plays for FC Seoul in the Korean League. So in Xbox, he's been selling for around 30 to 35k and if I'm not wrong, on the PS3, a bit less, I think, at around 25 to 30k. So over the course of the week, I tried making quite a few teams around Molina and this sort of hybrid here was the one I ended up using him in. So I played him as a centre attacking midfielder in a 4-5-1. We look at his card stats and the main thing you'll notice is his 80 shooting and as well as that, maybe his dribbling. As usual, I'll show you his in-game stats. You may have seen them already but a few people won't have so here they are and Molina is left footed with 4 star skills and 2 star weaker foot. In his physical attributes, you'll notice his acceleration is 80, bringing his sprint speed down to 72, which didn't really help. In his mental attributes, the only thing that really stands out is his vision, which isn't bad at all. And lastly are his skill attributes, where you'll see a lot of stats in the dark green, which are mainly his shooting stats, which are really good, with his 88 shot power and 85 long shots. I'll show a bit of gameplay now, and to be honest, I didn't score that many goals from him at all. As with a lot of silver informs with decent shooting this year, one game he'd score or come close with a lot of shots, but in other games he'd just miss everything. I mean, he did score a few decent shots, but the amount of times that he came close or hit the woodwork was ridiculous. His shooting was good though, I can't deny that. I didn't get any free kicks recorded, as I didn't really get many at all in the games. But his free kicks were good, and his finishing with finesse shots was also quality. At the end of the day, he's a great finisher but from a longer range I'd expect him to score a lot more with his 85 long shots and 88 shot power. I did enjoy using him as he had 4 star skills which is a massive plus with any player I used. The problem was though he lacked pace. I remember his silver in form last year and if you compare the two, last year he got a massive boost in stats but this year he didn't go up that much at all. Usually don't mind slower players but I just found him to be a bit sluggish at times but then other times he'd be fine so I guess it's all down to your personal opinion. I also want to mention the fact that I don't think 4-5-1 was the best formation for him, or maybe the best, best position for him. You guys may have used him as, say, a centre forward in a 4-2-3-1 and think he's amazing, so my opinion in this video is just formed on the basis of what I've seen using him in this formation. So, if you use him in a different for position or formation and think he plays better there, just let me know in the comments. Anyway, do I think he's worth spending your coins on? In my opinion, if you find a better positional formation for him then yeah he is worth the coins as his shooting stats are quality and he's actually fairly cheap he's also a great player to use to link up those Colombian hybrids. So next player I'll be reviewing in this video is the team of the season Marcos Asensal the Brazilian midfielder who plays for Palmeiras in the Brazilian league. On the Xbox his price has risen a bit recently and he's been going for about 120 to 150k and on the PS3 I think his price is fairly similar. So team-wise, you'll obviously want to use him in a Brazil silver team, and I opted to try him in a 3-4-1-2, different and a lot cheaper to the previous Brazil silver teams I've had, but it's a lot of fun to use. His card stats should be coming up, and the most noticeable stats are of course his shooting, passing, and not for a good reason, his pace. I'll move on to his in-game stats now, and he's right-footed with two-star skills and three-star weaker foot. His physical attributes are fairly poor, apart from his strength, which is 78. His mental attributes are actually all really good, which you don't often say as most players' mental attributes are poor. But his best stats are by far his shooting stats with his 99 free kick accuracy, 94 curve, 89 long shots, 94, uh, 95 shot power I mean. The list goes on with his passing stats in the 80s as well. Like with Molina, I wasn't able to get tons of goals with Aston Sal, mainly because he played quite defensively and sat in the centre mid position. From what I saw though, his passing was amazing. In a four in a 3-4-1-2, he was able to ping the ball all around the pitch, which really helped. Of course, though, his shooting was amazing. His free kicks were also amazing with his 99 free kick accuracy. But I didn't actually get many free kicks, and if I did, they're on the wrong side. It doesn't matter. I still know they're insane. The thing is, though, is he worth paying 140k more to buy an only slightly upgraded version of the normal Aston Sal? At the end of the day, he only actually goes up by 2 pace, 3 shooting, 1 passing, 2 defending, and 4 heading. In my opinion, his shooting was identical to his normal version. You could say that the shooting and passing stats on his normal version couldn't really be upgraded much. And if his normal version can already score from 40 yards, what more does the team, does the team of the season one give? So overall, is he worth the coins? In my opinion, I'm afraid he isn't worth it. 
He's very slow, he only has two star skills, and to be honest, the only difference I saw between the normal version and the team of the season version was that he was slightly better at tackling. That's if he was actually able to keep up with play. Thanks for watching guys, and if there's anyone in particular you want me to review for next week, please let me know. I think I may review Inform Okazaki as one of them, but I still need a second. On the screen now is a video you may have missed, and that's episode one of my 1K sub special videos. I think episode two will be out on Monday, and in that video, I'll go through my squads. But if you missed episode one, just click on this screen. Cheers.